CBRN materials are a great threat because of the uh, capability to inflict massive casualties and harm uh, uh, globally and also impact on uh, uh, countries' economies and potentially could destabilise uh, some uh, governments. Um, terrorists use currently uh, explosives and firearms because they're easy to access, easy to deliver. But there is a recognition that there will come a tipping point when the use of chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear material is not as complex as it currently is. It's very difficult at the moment to get hold of some of these materials, not all of them. Uh, but even those that they can get hold of easily, it's very difficult to de deliver in an effective manner that will cause the harm they seek. But when they reach that tipping point, that's when we'll see an increase in their use. And that's why the CBRNE subdirectorate is in place to help prevent that from happening. We currently operate in three key areas. Uh, information sharing uh, through our project Geiger, uh, which links into the 190 member countries. We do capacity building, which is training, exercising and workshops. Again, we tend to do that regionally, but across the globe. And finally, we provide support to operations and investigations. And that's very significant because this conference is very much focused on operational commanders and senior investigating officers. Interpol's contribution to the Nuclear Security Summit covers a range of activities. Uh, Counter-nuclear smuggling workshops is one of them where we uh, develop the capability of countries to set up counter-nuclear smuggling teams and make them aware of the uh, trafficking uh, organisations that exist, deliver case studies and help to develop their uh, capability to respond to and deal with trafficking organisations. We also do various other courses around investigations uh, and evidence handling. But also we uh, have Operation Failsafe, which is a, a key uh, tool in our uh, uh, armoury, if you like, to target uh, trafficking. Uh, and that's where we identify people that have been or known to be involved in trafficking of nuclear and other radioactive materials. And we track their movements globally to create a bigger picture of the network that are currently exist to support investigations. And this conference is uh, part of Interpol's contribution to the Nuclear Security Summit's global agenda of global nuclear security. Uh, this provides a platform of which we will then step into the Nuclear Security Summit at the end of March, beginning of April.